and uh, and for today's video, I am with my friend Francine. Hi guys! I'm super duper glad that my friend Micaela already invited me on her channel. And for today's video, we're going to be doing a very informative travel vlog. And guess where we're going to? It's Today we're gonna walk along the streets of France to see their famous tourist attractions. Oh my god guys, I'm super excited for this vlog but before anything else, I know this is not my vlog but Micaela, how's life being as an architecture student? It's hard but it's fun. I took up architecture since I am fond of designing and designing buildings and structures that will eventually serve a defined function and since it's your first time here in france i'm gonna tour you around wow it's art is amazing i'm sorry guys i haven't been to a place like this before wait Micaela, where are we again I just want to know because its architecture and structure is so spectacular. We're here at Art de Triomphe and this monument was actually constructed in 1806. Well, I've also read that this monument was built thousands of years ago and guys, as you can see, it still looks firm and sturdy. And as you may have noticed, it is light in color because it is made out of stone, particularly limestone. And I think they use stones because first, it is abundant during the ancient times and it is durable. And lastly, it is very easy to sculpt. From the look of the structure, what do you think it's similar to? Let me guess. A tunnel? I'm not sure. I don't have any idea, guys. I don't know. You're right. Guys, huh? it's actually similar to a tunnel. It has two openings, one on each end, and it's actually called a barrel vault. Mm, guys, there is also another type of structure like this. It's actually called a groin vault. And the groin vault is a structure that is formed by intersecting arches resulting in four openings. So guys, you better remember that. Ooh, arches. So that explains why this place is called Arc de Triomphe because of its massive arch, right? Ah, uh, yes. And the purpose of the arch is actually to perpetuate the memory of the victories of the French armies. Looks nice. I've also been wondering what those vaults and arches are. Wait, 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 wait. It's already 11 and we still have a lot of places to go, right? Well, it looks like an inverted cup from afar. Wait, guys. We're gonna show you how it looks like close up. So, guys, as you can see, the Pantheon is 
composed of three sections. The first one that we see is called a portico with granite columns. Right next to it is a massive dome rotunda and at the middle is a rectangular area which connects the two other sections. And as you can see guys, they use bricks as it is a better option than stones. And lastly, they also use concrete. As we all know, concrete is like the mixture of cement and water. They used it, I think, due to its comprehensive strength. Oh, I'm glad you noticed that, Francina. I didn't know you had so much knowledge when it comes to architecture. But can you also see those posts and lintels at the entrance of the Pantheon? Mm, they can be used as a great support to many structures. So anyway, let's go to our next stop. I know you guys know where we are. And guess what? We are here at the famous Eiffel Tower and I'm telling you guys it looks majestic here and I'm gonna show you so that you'll know how it looks up front let's go we're gonna tour you around the Eiffel Tower well unlike the other first places that we've been to i now know why eiffel tower is one of the most famous places here in europe because you can clearly see how intricate and innovative its architecture is and it's very tall guys if you could just see it in person it's very tall and it is supported with iron and steels because obviously tall structures like this require um stronger foundation which stones and cements doesn't really offer hey francine i actually have a question for you what do you think made the eiffel tower intricate mm, i guess those frames supporting the tower it's actually because of those triangular sheet steels that are supporting the tower and they are assembled to form a rigid framework to fully support the structure. But do you know what it's called? I literally don't have any idea. It's actually called a truce. So I hope all of you guys will learn Wow, I haven't seen anything like this before. The bridge looks amazing, guys. And guys, this bridge actually has the word pont in its name, which means cantilever. And it means a structure that makes use of a beam or a slab that extends horizontally into space beyond its supporting post and did you also guys know that this bridge can go up and down for it to make way for other ships or boats that are going to pass through it it's actually good that your viewers get to know a lot of things about architecture right guys Stop for 
for today. I know we're super tired already, but before anything else, we're going to visit the famous flying buttresses of Notre Dame de Paris, right? A flying buttress is actually a structure that is built as a support to the wall. And in most European churches, buttresses were actually built to support the dome. I might just have recalled that I've read something about Notre Dame before, that it was called the Holy Chapel of Reinforced Concrete, which is, it was like a place of worship before in France, and it was made with gray cement on the outside, and obviously, it was made with lumber on its insides. Well, I'm a little familiar with this place. I don't know guys if you've also heard the news about this place that its roof got destroyed due to a fire that broke out beneath its roof. So that explains why its structure looks a little new as the frames and beams were just, I think, recently reconstructed. And since its frame is actually made with lumber, it's really susceptible to fire, mold, and termites. But now looking at it, it looks like they used oak trees to reconstruct the new roof to make it way sturdier. Francine, I'm actually glad that you accompanied and joined me in this vlog. And I actually didn't know that you have so much knowledge when it comes to architecture. Don't worry, I also enjoyed touring around the beautiful city and architecture of France. So guys, this is where we'll end our vlog. And I hope you enjoyed watching us tour around the city. And if you're new to my channel, please like share and subscribe and please don't forget to ring the notification bell to be updated with my latest vlogs and give this like a thumbs up if you also would like more contents like this all right, all right that's, that's all, all. Bye, bye guys, guys. A bien a bien too. Too.